sweet red spicy to the max. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I just wanted to do a little video today on two very, very good, very high quality, very affordable tobacco fragrances from the House of Babylon Fragrances. Babylon Fragrances is a house that I really, really enjoy. They sent me a samples, like seven or eight of them a while back. Some of my favorites were Tobacco Rojo and Legend. They both happen to be tobacco-based fragrances. This is supposed to be a play on red tobacco. This is supposed to be a play on Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Tobacco is a kind of scent that not everybody likes tobacco and it's not really the most complimented style fragrance out there but if you're like me a lot of other people really really enjoy tobacco style fragrances it's one of my favorite style fragrances it's one of my favorite winter style fragrances it's just so luxurious exotic and nice designer world it was kind of more popular to have tobacco 15 20 25 years ago it's one of those notes that people don't use in modern designer style fragrances i'm gonna take our time going into each one start off with tobacco rojo these two are very similar in their own ways but they're also very different. They both provide different strengths. And I was actually surprised which one I kind of preferred in the end. So tobacco rojo, rojo means red in Spanish. So it's kind of like I play on red tobacco. Very, very strong, exotic, red, spicy kind of smell here. Generally pretty sweet, but it's also very spicy at the same time. This one's probably definitely a lot more spicy than Legend, but the spiciness most of the time it doesn't really pop out above the sweetness. This is overall kind of like a sweet style fragrance, but it's really sweet, spicy. So if you're somebody who like, oh gosh, I don't like only sweet style fragrances or I don't like fragrances that are way too spicy. This one has a lot of spice, but overall it's sweet. So it doesn't really come off as, as like a spicy style fragrance, but it's not so sweet also that it just is too sweet and there's no spiciness and there's like bubble gummy. No, this is definitely a robust style scent. The notes that they listed online were tobacco, obviously, patchouli, rum, and exotic spice. Now, actually, this is a really good description of this. You definitely get the tobacco. People say that there's vanilla in there. I think the vanilla contributes to the sweetness, but overall, that one is much more of a vanilla style fragrance than this one. This one has a little bit of vanilla in there to dress up the tobacco. More spicy, more tobacco than you know normal style fragrances they said that they had a note of rum in there and another fragrance note that i really like is liquor notes and i feel like they kind of give it like a gentleman-y style vibe and liquor kind of notes they seem to go pretty well with tobacco tobacco and liquor they're kind of used interchangeably in some crowds i see almost more exotic spice than anything like if you want to know what this smells like i think of really really strong exotic red spice and that's exactly what this smells like in my opinion although they are both really strong this one is just nuclear like i said guys you could go two or three sprays on this and that's going to be really 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 strong and there's this like a little bit of vibe in here that can be a little bit off-putting at times when i over spray so i generally try to keep it you know right down the middle and as this kind of dies down um, later on, it's more of just a nice sweet kind of thing with a little bit of spice. It can be pretty spicy in the top, but overall guys, this is one of my favorites. If I had to wear this most of the days in winter, I wouldn't feel bad. And I love the unique smell to it. I love that it smells exotic. One of my coworkers who doesn't really wear a fragrance, if he does, he's going to buy like a $20 fragrance. I showed him this and he was completely blown away by it. He really, really liked it. He was looking into getting a bottle. Um, he would say how long it lasted on his shirt. I remember while we were working his girlfriend texted him that the smell of this stayed on his shirt through several days and through a wash. He was reading the text while we were talking, like, oh man, that stuff just lasts forever. And it smells good. It's one of those ones where if you smell a lot of stuff and clones aren't really you, you might you might actually like this one, Tobacco Rojo. Oh, and sorry for the bottle. Uh, I said this in another video. These fragrances are extreme high oil fragrances. And so when you have oil fragrances that are sideways and sometimes when the heat changes, it could cause the oil to leak out the bottle and that's what happened and that's why it's scuffed up. But to me, the, the juice smells the same and the only reason and this happened is because the juice is so strong so i'm cool with that babylon fragrances legend now this one has really 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 grown on me guys so i had a sample of this to start off i liked it you know i actually don't have the original tobacco vanille so i can't really comment how close these are to the original tobacco vanille and what it has more or less of maybe it's more spicy more maybe it's less spicy generally this smells the same one of my subscribers wrote down below uh wrote me that he actually picked this one up and he highly recommended it. He loved it. And he said Babylon fragrances is 
you know, quickly becoming one of his favorite fragrance houses. So I'm like, man, I did like the sample. You're hyping it so much. Let's just go ahead and get a bottle. And he is 100% correct. I think I wore this two days in a row to start off because I liked it. And I got to say on the third day, I really wanted to wear this one again. It was my friend's birthday. I decided to wear this. He lived like pretty far away. It was decent weather. So I decided to bring the bottle. But he thought I was wearing Parfums de Marley Herod, which is another tobacco vanilla style fragrance. You definitely can smell it. I don't think this has extreme length and projection like uh, Tobacco Rojo. He ended up showing some more people in his family. And this one actually got really, really good reactions from, you know, people just showing it to people. I didn't get any unsolicited compliments, anything like that. But when I did show us to people, they, they really, really did like it. Now, what does it smell like? I looked on BabylonFragrances.com and they actually had an extremely perfect description of this. Each little thing that they describe, yeah, that's the whole fragrance. Certain notes are stronger and other notes is kind of like a zest or like a little bit of a change up to those main notes. Like it's literally like mainly tobacco vanilla, but these other notes kind of give it this little extra quality that describes what this really smells like. So obviously tobacco vanilla and then tonka bean. It's kind of like vanilla. It's kind of like an extra form of vanilla. You know, if you want just vanilla and then it to be even more vanilla, you add tonka. A lot of people know that. And then cacao, it's that's kind of like a, a chocolatey smell minus the super sweetness, musk of like the chocolate. And I get a little bit of that in there, like a little bit of that musky kind of chocolate in there and then dry fruit accord and sweet wood sap there is some dried fruits in here but it's a tobacco scent it's a tobacco vanilla scent and maybe there's a little bit of accent of dried fruits i definitely see that not juicy fruits by any means but it definitely goes really really well with this and then sweet wood sap it's got some sweetness to it and the sweetness kind of does smell a little bit like sweet wood sap but that kind of helps the whole tobacco vanilla style theme tobacco vanilla cacao dry fruit accord and sweet wood sap that's really what this smells like man i love both these fragrances i would say i fell in love with tobacco rojo first but i actually might prefer babylon fragrances legend because i just really really enjoyed wearing this and this is something that i could wear even more often than red tobacco or or tobacco rojo tobacco rojo is super strong this one is you could spray it a little bit more it's a little bit less strong but generally you should get two two and a half hours projection at least 10 hours of longevity with this one this one isn't bad projector this one's just insane but i would say overall after spraying this a lot this one's a little bit more pleasant like i said when i overspray with this one there's a slight vibe of a little bit of too much of something i don't know what it is maybe the patchouli but um, i really really enjoy these both guys they're both at an affordable price range you could get a one ounce for 45 or you could get a two ounce for 60 now what i recommend doing is try to get some samples from them and then if you like the sample i definitely recommend getting a two ounce because the two ounce is double the price for $15. You're already gonna pay 45. If you like the fragrance, might as well pay $15 and get double the amount. These fragrances are so concentrated. Two ounces is pretty much like a 3.4 ounce. You'll see when you order this stuff, guys, these are insane. Like I said, I can't even really spray tobacco rojo that much because it is so, so strong. And that kind of goes with all of Babylon fragrances. They're so, so high quality, although it's a little bit smaller than 3.4. Concentration is up so high that it doesn't really matter matter as much so highly recommend these price range 45 to 60 dollars i would probably pick legend a little bit over it but go over the descriptions sweet red spicy to the max i would go with tobacco rojo i think it smells like the descriptions if i got stuck with these for the whole winter it wouldn't be that bad but anyways guys let me know what your cheap winter style fragrances are let me know what your favorite tobacco style fragrances of any price and your favorite tobacco fragrances at a cheaper price i'll be very very interested to see down below so far i'm absolutely loving these two and i highly recommend them especially for the price to on the road to 10,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of your help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace So the notes that they lifted on, but most of it's more spicy. Um, it's more, yeah, more spicy, more tobacco-y than, uh, more spicy, more tobacco-y than I would have 